Okay. Now, what if we have Sumo and we would like Sumo to communicate with other network simulators? In this part, uh, I will show you how to generate or to format the output of Sumo such that it can be understood by other network simulators. In order to do that in Sumo, there's a Python code called Trace Exporter. Trace Exporter.py converts and filters Sumo float car data file to different trace file formats like Omnet, Shaun, NS2, NS3, FEM, etc. I invite you to make your own research in order to know what's Omnet, Shaun, Network Simulator 2, 3, FEM, Vanet, and so on, in order to generate output file from Sumo that can be understood by other network simulator, the very first step to do is to generate the Sumo trace file, the Sumo trace, the Sumo FCD trace file. That's the float car data trace file. And I already showed you before how to generate this FCD trace file by using the following comment. And then after generating the sumo trace file, we are going to use that, for example, to output the Omnet Mobility trace file using the following comment. Let us just copy this. Remember, we already have our sumo trace file in our folder. Here is our sumo trace file. Now let us paste this command here in order to generate the Omnet file. And here is our Omnet file. This is what it looks like. We have the node ID, the time, simple node, the location, the X position, and the Y position. This is what our Omnet mobility file look like. To generate a shown snapshot file, we just use the following command. This is how the shown file look like. We have the snapshot ID, the node ID, the location that's X, Y, and Z coordinate. How to generate the FEM files. We have many FEM files, the dry, the str, the FZP, the FLT. Let's generate each of them. This is the FEM, the FEM DRI file. This is the FEM STR file. And this is the FEM FZP file. And this is the FEM FLT file. What is important to notice here is that unlike the DRI file, for the str, fzp, and flt, we must specify the network input file in order to generate those other files. 
other files that we can generate in order to use NS2 are as follow. First, we have the NS2 configuration file that can be generated using this command. We also have the NS2 activity file that can be generated using this command. And finally, we also have the NS2 mobility file. Note that these are not the only type of output that can be generated uh, using uh, Sumo. We have many other type of output and I invite you to check this link in order to see in details other type of output that you can generate like the GPS dat configuration file the GPSX activity file the POI mobility file This is what the GPS data file looks like. This is what the GPS X file looks like. We have the longitude, the latitude and the time. And this is what the POI file looks like. Well, guys, um, that's pretty it for this video. And I hope it helps you to know how to, how to link Sumo with other network simulator environment. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe in order to make my channel grow. Thank you very much and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.